Welcome to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Back to Nature, and by extension, Friends of Mineral Town was an odd game because the original creator of Harvest Moon had no involvement in it. It was made by a different team. So they basically took the characters from Harvest Moon 64 and put them in completely different families and stories. And the creator didn't like it. But when it was remade as Friends of Mineral Town, it became one of the most beloved games in the whole franchise. So as time went on, of course, a remake became a possibility, and here we are. It's on the PC, it's on the Switch, it's probably on some other consoles. I'm playing the PC version, which runs really nicely, probably because, as you can tell, it's uh, not graphically intensive by any means. But it is quite cute. It is, it's not quite a warts and all remake, which is nice. There's a lot of uh, quality of life improvements, but it, it is very much the game that you remember. But at the same time, as you can see, Almost all of the characters have been redesigned, too. <laughs> so there's this swings and roundabouts kind of aspect to this. But I really like the game. If you liked Friends of Mineral Town and wanted it about how you remembered it, this is a good version to pick up. Seven asleep. Oh my god. The Kappa, I think, has the best redesign. <laughs> He just looks like a dude who does not want anything to do with anyone. I just, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing cuties. Why does the Kappa have an emo over? <laughs> I don't know. Thomas has one of the more fun redesigns. He looks basically the same, but they made him squatter and his hat taller. So he looks like the mayor from Powerpuff Girls. I assume he became mayor by finding that hat in a dungeon. <laughs> he earned that hat, damn it. My goodness, there's Grandpa with his his backwards baseball cap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do you think Grandpa might have died because he built a half pipe? <laughs> <laughs> Just look around the back of the house, see if you can find some scraps of plywood. Surprise, this is another Tony Hawk LP. <laughs> I really like these. <laughs> She didn't find a chicken, she found a cuckoo. He spent the entire summer just harassing the animals. <laughs> and now you think you're gonna take over a farm. Probably once the old guy kicks it, you know how this works. Dead man's dirty boots. We find him with a broken neck because he tried to acid drop off the chicken coop. <laughs> <laughs> True to form, any successful farm is built on the mountain of grandpa corpses. The best fertilizer. fertilizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see one of these games where, uh, where where a grandma shows up and says, actually, I'm the legal beneficiary of this. <laughs> Challenges you for the farm, like, in year two or even day two. That's right. And she's got that laugh where she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Covers her mouth with the back of her hand. Later, dicks. So yeah, you can choose no and then end the game immediately. This is the speed run strat. <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we'll see you for our next LP. <gasps> what a horrible dream. I always appreciate a game that'll let you do that and stick to it. Well, now that I'm done with the nightmare, yeah, this sounds fun. Most names that are going to be in this were chosen by my Patreon patrons. This one was for me. Ew. Ew. Ew, farm. Ugh, farm. The dying industry. Sell this bullshit to Monsanto. The mirror actually allows you to change outfits. And you have a reasonable selection. Most of them are just recolors of your current outfits, like a Naomi's hoodie. You also can have the classic overalls. Or you can dress up as a mascot. I mean, it is almost Christmas. Yep. Oh, the, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I don't know if it was intentional or not, but the blue hoodie is basically trans pride colors, but that's pretty cool. Far out. You can't fool me, that's not a pedometer, that's a Hey You Pikachu. <laughs> or whatever that thing was called. Oh, is that how shopping works? I'm from the city, Thomas, all we do is shop. You mean I can't go into the back and scream? No, employees only. <laughs> Stare at him meaningfully. 
desk, look at the employee, and look at what you want, like a dog. Mm. Mm. Insist that he does the four candles sketch. <laughs> Guy behind the counter just sobs into his hands. I hate that show so much. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stand Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> Why'd they give Zach a dirt stash? I thought that was weird too. In the original, he did have one. It was just very small. That's the funny thing about the redesigns. Some of them look a little weird. A lot of people aren't fans of them because, you know, they're very attached to the original designs, but I actually appreciate most of them. Because in the cases of, like, some of the potential bachelors and bachelorettes, they came from certain families in Harvest Moon 64. Like, there's a reason Karen had that blonde streak in her hair. It's because she was the granddaughter of Eve from the SNES original. In Back to Nature and Friends of Mineral Town, there's no Eve. She's not related to them. So there's no reason for her to look like that. So it makes sense that now her hair is just all light brown or dirty blonde or whichever color that is. But, uh... In some cases, like with Zach, it just looks weird, period. <laughs> but most most of them, I think, look fine. He might just be a weird-looking guy. Yeah. He's a porter, you know? His his life is carrying bins of turnips. He can grow whatever shitty mustache he wants. <laughs> ah, certain put you out. Thanks for the bunch of grapes that you picked up off the ground. It's fine. I'm sure they're still good. How you doing? You'll notice that uh, I work on a tarp. Over on the ground, that's... Uh, it's traditional. I'll build any expansions to your house on the tarp. You're gonna have to carry them yourself. Yeah. A flat packing. It's fine. 16, 16 animal barn. Seems fine. Yeah. Holy crap. What was that? A million gold for a town villa? Yep. So that's going to be the ultimate goal for this let's play. Getting enough money to make my own town villa. Is that just like a house in town that you live right yep. next to? That's it. <laughs> Tired of this farming life, I want to be a townie. Does Thomas live with the with the cop? Are they are they roomies? Oh no, uh, I can't think of his name. I'll probably talking to him in a second. Um, but the sheriff there is actually Thomas's son, Harris. Oh, now that's sweet. Uh, it's Thomas's large adult son. <laughs> we just live here with my da. We keep the peace and justice here in town. Not sure if that's nepotism or anything to really be worried about, but at least Harris seems to be a nice guy. Well, it's a small town. Who cares? I've never had to discharge my firearm in anger once in this town. And frankly, I think it's a little boring. Just an old-fashioned murder would really pep this place up. Who are, sir? I sure would like to beat someone down with my billy club, but them's the brakes. Right nearby the church is the hut where the nature sprites live. Because it's Story of Seasons, not Harvest Moon, so they're not Harvest Sprites anymore. But they serve the same function. If you befriend them, they'll work on the farm for you. And they are super necessary, especially if you really want to build up your funds. Because the bigger that your farm gets, the more crops you plant in the field, the less you're actually going to be able to do in a day. So you need their help. So there's no like mystery to them. They're just a bunch of little weirdos that live in a shack. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. How's it going? We have our beds in a line. That's not weird. We don't generally believe in privacy. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> they do have really adorable names, though. Mint seems like a real bummer. That's fine. Spring means tea parties. <sighs> That's cold. Sorry, I only help my friends. What have you done for me lately? We only do free labor for our friends. Ugh. Cherry's like the classic Sprite. Nice to meet. I beg your pardon? <laughs> um. It's... Nice to beef you. I think Cherry's gonna eat our face. I, I think so. I think Cherry's probably got an improbably large fork hidden somewhere. Loves the grapes, though. They're red like blood. Pumpkin. Oh, young pumpkin. You know what sucks about the sprites? They all love grapes except for the purple one. He hates them.
It's just like you're color coded for a reason. <laughs> just shaking the little guy. They all like the herbs that are the same color as them. But Plum here doesn't fucking like maybe because he's named Plum and like get it right. Uh, my name's not Grape, is it? Look at my hat. Is this grape colored? No, it's plum colored, asshole. <laughs> I'm not arguing that plum. It's just the way it is. Get the fuck out of here unless you're here for a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, I like plum. I think plum's probably my favorite. <laughs> the, the aggressive sprite. <laughs> I think tea is just short for tequila. I think it's weed, man. Oh. Wow, Sunny, you're one of those ironically named sprites, huh? <laughs> like I said, they pretty much all like grapes, which right away grow on your farm. That's the default tree that's on your farm. And all of them love honey, which is also the tree. So really easy to befriend. Uh, yes, the grape tree. Mm. Grape honey. The way grapes grow. Yeah. On trees. Yeah, grapes, they grow on trees. Yes, on grape trees. Yeah. You want me to get Plum over here? <laughs> he can explain it to you. Oh, no, please, God, no. <laughs> I like my blood where it is. I assume they fixed the bug from the GBA version where there was a problem with the winter mine where, like, if you saved in it in a certain way and then loaded, you'd have, like, 12 million gold. Uh, regrettably, yes. That sounds like it would have been really nice. But no, you got to earn your gold, more or less. Yeah, for the LP, it's probably, it would probably be great. Playing it, it sucks, actually. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just like, oh, I can just get whatever I want now. I guess I'm done playing. But there we have it. That's what Friends of Mineral Town is like so far. I like it. I already like it. It's giving me a taste to play it. It's very Harvest Moon, but it's that done very well. That's great, because I like Harvest Moon. Kind of. It's the tuna sandwich. If, you know, you like tuna sandwiches, it's really good tuna sandwich. But if you don't, it's not going to change your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Skippy and I, we have a mutual friend, Melody Serafina. She streamed this a while ago. She was actually really unimpressed with the game because it is very much the original GBA game, just updated in a few ways. Not many more bells and whistles added to it. And that's fair. If you were hoping for another Story of Seasons game to really take a step forward, this game isn't that. This is very much, I want an updated version of that old GBA game I loved. Right. Like, with some additional quality of life improvements. That's pretty much what the game is. And me personally, that's all I really wanted from the game. And that's what I got. So so this is for people who feel that the series took a nosedive after Harvest Moon 64. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's weird now! There's anime everywhere! It's so bizarre! Yes, it, it is very pure of that experience and since i played the crap out of the gba one i'm like eh i don't know if i need that again yeah like honestly i remember when i first played harvest moon 64 i thought it was just the height of extravagance that they gave you a backpack <laughs> oh man <laughs> i'm like this is horse shit whatever happened <laughs> to having your stupid horse follow you around as you pick up each turnip individually and throw it into its backpack but then miss because the animation hadn't finished so your turnip splatters on the ground while your horse is just standing there like a four-legged idiot <laughs> man you brought me right back to playing 64 right yep it's almost too bad you can't use the horse as a portable shipping bin in this game Ah, uh, that's what the horse is for. <laughs> it's not like riding is much faster. You know, honestly, your horse is not great for transportation because like you get stuck on him constantly. <laughs> His hitbox is so weird because horses are very long. But what can you do? Times change. Things move forward. Yeah. Backpacks and sprinklers. and Oh, sprinklers. Jeez. And unlimited playtime. You know, back in my day, we had two years to turn this crap around, and that's it. <laughs> then Granddad comes back and says, all right, you get the hell off my land. <laughs> two and a half years, Granola, your memory's going. Is it two and a half years? Yeah, it was two and a half years. Oh, yeah, it's two and a half years. I guess it's going. Probably because I never made it that far. Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. Wake up, best. Time to... What? 
Me Meet Huang. Where did you get that apple? I was born with it. Were you just carrying around that apple? <laughs> That's actually his hand. Genetic defect. <laughs> oh, good old Huang apple hands. They come. Now, if there is one criticism of the redesigns I sort of agree with, they did take away a lot of identifying elements of characters. Because, like, Gray here was known for his cap. In this, they took that away, and now he's just a generic pretty boy. But he is also kind of a sad boy, so at least he has that. But Grandpa, what the hell is wrong with it? The handle's on backwards, you dumb bastard! <laughs> this is my son, idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> You put the blade on the top of the sickle. I don't even know how that works. The blade's supposed to go sideways, you idiot! That's what makes it a sickle and not just a long knife. Wait, I forgot he's my grandson. He's as much of an idiot as his dad. Yeah, welcome to the trades, kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a leftover from the guild system is what that is, boy. Ah, uh, potpourri. There must always be a potpourri in Harvest Moon. There is always... It's always the same potpourri, actually. Yeah. yeah she's eternal. Yeah, she's just... She's weird. Yeah, the, this is one of the weird things about mixing up these characters' relationships. Potpourri was named Potpourri because she worked with plants. In this one, no, she, she runs the chicken store. Right. Feeds the chickens potpourri. <laughs> Her mom Lily is a sweetheart, though. Lilia has anime sickness, so which means she's weak and she can't leave the house, and that's all we know. It's very Victorian. Victorian said anime sickness? Yep. They invented it. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Victorians invented anime? Yes. And sickness. I'm learning so much. It, it was one of those things where it was just an accepted fact of life, and then people, you know, in the modern day decided to make a big thing out of it and put robots in it. Are we talking about sickness or anime? I think I switched over to talking about colonialism. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than you. You live in a town, sweetie. And she does live on a farm underneath the town. What? <laughs> yeah, subterranean farm. Oh, I see. <laughs> South of the town, then. Fine. She's like, I'm a Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you can grow crops with lamps? You mean to say lamps, little girl? <laughs> I'm a double bow. <laughs> Cop. I beg your pardon? Uh, uh huh, okay. This is a new addition. Huh? There are regular cows and there are flavored cows. I fucking knew it! <laughs> They're really expensive. They're semi useless too because the milk they produce is only for selling. You can't use them in recipes or anything. You can only use regular cow milk for that. Strawberry milk comes from strawberry cows. I fucking knew it. <laughs> You can also make your own strawberry milk, so, like, it's really weird. But this you could just squish out of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> I presume the noise it makes. I'm a city boy. Okay, brown chicken, does that, does that drop chocolate eggs? No, so, like, they didn't even keep it consistent. What the fuck? Well, it's a brown chicken, not a chocolate chicken. Oh, not a chocolate chicken, of course. Look at that rabbit, though. <laughs> yeah. Mana... Her joke is, she talks a lot, and she talks very slow. It's a funny joke the first time. I can see we're gonna be good friends. She's, uh, she, she's the vineyard lady, I take by the, by the grapes. Yep, she runs a vineyard with her husband, Duke. I think she might, uh, have been sampling vintage a little bit. Gotta make sure it's good. And make sure the first one wasn't a false positive. And make sure the second one wasn't a false positive. <laughs> Why, thank you for grapes. Something that I so desperately needed in my life. Oh. Ah, oh, hello. It's my waifu. 
Ah, uh, yes. Everyone, everyone loves the library slash church girl. Including my patrons, because they voted for me to marry Mary. Ah, uh, good. Look, it's even in her name. Bunch of nerd lovers, huh? He's not a natural born prankster. He just likes weird bugs. And he thinks that you like him too. All children should like weird bugs. Someday I'm going to find the weirdest bug in the world, and you're going to be really impressed by it, Ellie. It's going to have a human face, but like dog legs. <laughs> yeah. His name's going to be Gregor. <laughs> because he's more than Greg. He will have been, he will have been a man at one point. <laughs> this man is extremely Jeff. <laughs> yeah. That's the Jeffest looking guy I've ever seen. Ah, that's the good shit. Thanks. It <laughs> starts snorting it. <laughs> I can sell this. Oh, Cherry, you little sweetie. <gasps> Did I know? Oh, yeah. Kappa's like cucumbers, huh? What? I what? None of that is true. Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. These sprites are not okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Work is important, but so are tea parties. Yeah, it works fine, but it's like Ben Franklin said, you know, you work to tea party. You don't tea party to work. Actually, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Can you come back to me? <laughs> byproducts? Yeah, just byproducts. <laughs> byproducts. You know, yeah, you have a cow and it produces a bunch of byproducts. Yeah, I go to the grocery store and go to the refrigerated section to get all my byproducts. Yeah, I just get some byproducts. You know, I had uh, I had some byproducts uh, sunny side up for breakfast today. <laughs> I got a bunch. I'm gonna make some cookies with byproducts in them. Oh yeah, you're gonna make some some byproduct cookies. Yeah, seems pretty good. That just makes me think of Dylan Morin talking about eggs, saying they're just farts covered in substance. <laughs> That's horseshit. <laughs> That's that's not a butt pearl. <laughs> it's it's not like a, you know you get a cloacal irritation and out pops an egg that's a pre pre animal that's uh it's a fucking that's an ovum dylan moran somebody get him on the phone i got, I got words for that guy it's just a byproduct man it just you know it's just a byproduct <laughs> there's some byproducts just have some roast byproduct for dinner you know I don't know why they call it byproduct, because, like, we're not making direct product. I'm not slaughtering them for beef. But, Thorne, the direct product is cuteness. I can't sell that, though. Because it's priceless. <laughs> can't put a price on cuteness. Uh, if you get any subscribers from this LP, then it's kind of like that. Hey, there you go. Donate to the Patreon. Buy some cuteness. Indeed. Did you guys see how round those cows are? They're so round. And they got a little bell on their tail. There you go, jingle jingle. You gotta buy the cuteness. If you don't donate, we're blurring out the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Story of Seasons. We're still very early in our first spring, so it's just a matter of unlocking things. Thankfully, one of them you just have to wait for. A horse. <sighs> of course. Now, I know you don't have any money or anywhere to keep it or really any knowledge of how to take care of an animal, but... <laughs> You're still wearing your Walmart name badge. <laughs> this is one of those things I like to do of throwing horses against the wall and seeing if they stick. In fact, it's best I just have too many damn horses. <laughs> one. That's too many horses for me. That's entirely too many. I'm like 90. Why is this man's hand so tiny? <laughs> what this tiny little hand? Well, that's my beard hand. Oh, okay. Slowly being eaten by my beard. <laughs> it's vestigial. I'm reabsorbing it. <laughs> hmm. I feel like there's something in this trough. It's a truth jewel. What? <laughs> my horse was going to drink that. Now your now burrito is going to tell only lies. <laughs> Horrible horsey lies. Burrito, did you leave this big steamer in the middle of the turnip patch? Nay. <laughs> Nay, I did not. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. 
she's going to grow up to be the sunning her butthole person on Instagram, isn't she? <laughs> Hi, Cliff. Hi, Cliff. Hi, Cliff. His life's kind of sad. But there we go. Beat the score, and because of that, his watering skill went up. How much, though? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> wow! Nice pixel. <laughs> yeah, I'm what you might call the enforcer. And what you might call violent. So you can have the nature sprites do one of those three chores for either one day, three days, or seven days. It feels like having them do it for seven days is the go-to idea, but what I actually like to do is have about half, like there's seven of them, you can't divide it up evenly, but have three or four of them watering for seven days and have the others watering for three days and actually stagger them. Because if you have all of them going at the exact same time, that means they're going to stop working at the exact same time. And there's always a day after they finish their work where they have to go back to the house and nobody's working on the farm. So if you stagger it, there's always somebody helping you out on the farm. <laughs> Congratulations, you've invented shift work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the lake, the kappa is actually there. And if you give him enough cucumbers over time, he'll give you a gift, a very useful gift. Is it? Somebody's butt soul. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's red quite on. Ten points, I'm gonna obliterate that. So they start getting antsy, then they run away screaming. Every time you've successfully put down food and they start eating, you get a point that way. So this is what it's like trying to feed all of them and trying to keep all of them happy. The key to this mini game is letting two of them leave and ignoring them. Because you're not going to keep losing points if you do this. So there we go. And if you want to do it even easier, narrow it down to three early on to get up to at least 10 points, and then just focus on feeding one single chicken. <laughs> See, look at that. 57 points. I think you won. You got your potatoes in the ground. And when they're ready, plow them all up, and you get to play my favorite game, Potato or Rock. Let me quickly see what happens. I mean, the next one is called Fishing and Drugs, so really, it's got something for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's spring. It's a process of steadily opening up the different mechanics of the game. So next time, we'll be able to do fishing. And uh, the drugs are something else entirely. They usually are. Yeah. Woo! Fishing's more of a beer activity. Sure is. Or heroin. Come on, Cherry. Yes, I do know. I think I've known it three times now. He knows one fact, and that's it. Took me a long time to learn that fact. I kept screwing up and saying that Kappa likes being kicked in the teeth. <laughs> I was, uh, projecting. When, in fact, he does not. He... Mm -mm. Not a fan. <laughs> so this is useless, but you can go to the doctor and pay 10 gold to have him look at you, which is just the game telling you what the stamina and fatigue meters actually mean. Like in this case, I'm basically dying. So the doctor's telling me I'm basically dying. What? Just... Just shotgun a container of no-dos. What the hell? And where do you get those? You buy it from the doctor. So he's just telling you, support my business. What the hell? What doctor would say, you're looking fatigued. I guess you just need a latte. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> Sorry, I left my farm on. <laughs> I love that. Sorry, I left my f uh, farm on. The, the chickens got into the flamethrower shed. On the bed, standing over her. Well, son, you didn't eat your vegetables, and this is what happens. Well, son, you masturbated and she went blind. 
She needs a caffeine and a stamina booster. <laughs> This is roughly the same parable that's in the original game. Carter, I say this is a friend, but that was the worst fucking joke I've ever heard. <laughs> like, the setup was good, you know? Don't get me wrong. The setup, I mean, dead mom, hilarious, right? But alarm clock, come on. You need to workshop that one a little bit more before you're ready for... Were you just staring at me? <laughs> I'm just kind of in shock that, like, that's what you wanted to talk to me about, Carter. It's <laughs> a terrible fucking joke. You're a fucking freak, Carter. <laughs> just... He's such a little dwarf. Now piss off, Sonny. Jeez. Oh, Sonny. We too, Team Sonny and Aqua. We're what you might call tough nuts to crack. Now maybe if you brought us some caffeine. <laughs> Boys, you are too small for caffeine. It will explode your little hearts. They'd just be like, sweet, caffeine. Yeah, but think of all the watering they'd get done first. <laughs> like two minutes and then they keel over and drown in the fish pond. Ah, uh, but what a wonderful two minutes. <laughs> Tiny bubbles just... <laughs> <laughs> that thought should not be as funny as it is. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not dead mom funny, but... So the water and they'll feed the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Just nibbling at this stupid hair. <laughs> I'm glad that so many characters in town just like grapes and grass. Speaking of drugs. <laughs> so this is how I maintain my friendship with the sprites. Just get next to the line and as they pass, press X. Oh god, you're that you're that boss. Yeah. Who's hanging out by the front door, watching people come in, saying, oh, good morning, good morning, and everyone's got to be nice to you because you signed the paychecks. You know he's always only doing it to make sure everyone's on time. But again, I'm doing that, but I'm also giving them grapes and grass, so... You should give them money so that they can buy their own grapes and grass, or whatever they might like. I don't know that the Harvest Brights know what money is. They will once we unionize them. <laughs> They're basically slaves. Nobody reads in this one horse hick town. Exactly one horse. It's living in your shed. That horse is mine now. I haven't fed it in a week. Just ignoring it. Not sure what it's eating. Don't want to ask. I haven't seen plum in a while, though. <laughs> Horace coughs up a little jingle bell. <laughs> hey, give me that back. <laughs> I need that if I'm going to break out of here. <laughs> Swear to God. Somebody's liver's getting a punching. <laughs> One, two. Um, it's saying... <laughs> don't, uh, don't, get, don't get too far ahead of yourself, old man. Next time we're continuing spring, but at this point we're going to start breezing through the season. Next part goes through like five days. I mean, we're not going to get the 40 minute montage of you picking turnips. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't you worry. There will be a few of those in the LP no matter what. 10 hour super cuts of just watching the harvest sprites work. <laughs> I would not have the patience to edit something like that. Oh, heavens no. I don't have the patience to even think about it. <laughs> I came up with it and I'm annoyed. <laughs> Hello, Moogie. What's holding your tiny hat on? Do you have a tiny top knot up there? Like, what's going on? My third tiny hand. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, keep it wrapped up because it freaks people out. <laughs> Best, I'm waving goodbye, but you probably can't see it. <laughs> I'd like to sleep in a real bed. Maybe I want to, Ron. 
right? Maybe I'm on vacation. Maybe I'm tired of sleeping on a pile of horse blankets that my grandpa died in. <laughs> oh, what's going on, buddies? Hey, since I'm friends with them all now, I can take part in a tea party. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We, we know what that means. Well, don't worry, because I have all of them working on my farm. We can't have the tea party. They all have to be in the house. Morning, Morning boss. boss. Morning, Morning, boss. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Morning, boss. Hey, dipshit. We're gonna unionize. You think I'm in the wrong place? <laughs> Look at them toddling around. <laughs> They're so small. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Why are they having a tiny nap? They just always do that. Little guy. I wish I could do that. While they're in the middle of work, sometimes they'll just plop down for a nap or they'll start playing the flute. <laughs> you gave up on office work, Skippy. Could have had that. <laughs> Sorry, boss. It's time for a union mandated jazz flute break. <laughs> <laughs> it terrifies chickens. I'll let you know ahead of time. Boss, you ever heard of Jethro Tull? <laughs> He's a bitch. He's a bitch, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down, Aqualung, best album ever. <laughs> Very much, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. This is fucking trash. I love that one of the options for watching the TV is I'm good, thanks. So, canonically, Best is such a goob that she will talk to the TV. <laughs> and calmly apologize to it for not wanting to watch anything. Okay, Plum. <laughs> Given our non-canonical definition of tea party, that's pretty threatening. <laughs> it's worked out for me. <laughs> Oh, this poor <laughs> bastard. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Weed and Ulcer Day here on Friends of Mineral <laughs> Town, everybody. If only we could synthesize the two. There's two ways to reach the human soul. The, uh, the first, obviously, the beehole. And the second is, uh, jazz flute. <laughs> the third is the backpack. Yes. The, the backpack is the, the heart of the soul. The way to a person's heart is through more inventory space. <laughs> of course. I love carrying more shit. Chicken, <laughs> what's wrong? Lady, please. Please, lady, you gotta hide me. Lady! <laughs> um, <laughs> I have questions. Bad life choices, Falco. Wow. That answered all of my questions. <laughs> yep. And there is a reason to actually give cucumbers to the Kappa. I think you need to give him 10, maybe 12 or something, but he gives you something after a while. Besides mean looks. <laughs> Friggin' Werner Herzog ass Kappa sitting there. <laughs> It really is. I feel like he's judging me for all the books I didn't read last year. Living pointlessly in this pond of despair. The bitterness of the cucumbers. I was that of my soul. Any complaints about the Werner Herzog impression, please uh, refer them to the complaints department. Complaints at WernerHerzog.com that's right. Just just wrap me out directly to the famous director slash character actor. Well, you forgot to call them cowards because none of the characters are puppets. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. It's raining today, but don't worry. We're going to bring some sunshine into your life. Cuties! <gasps> and not just because of all the birthdays. Birthday cuties! I probably could have just sent everyone home. 
We're here to do the watering, boss. <laughs> Passes down the rain. <laughs> I have a sprite for waterproof. Poor Mint's gonna have pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> Workers comp. <laughs> you didn't finish shit, you little bastards. Here I come to get steamed and iron out my wrinkles. Cannonball <laughs> Occupado. Cannonball! No, I'm too nervous. <laughs> Just falls into it. <laughs> yeah, seems uh, not suspicious at all that the library run by the daughter of the botanist is full of the botanist's books. I mean, how much funding do you think they give her for the library? Oh, less than zero. Are you kidding? Public libraries in this day and age? They can't even afford a police station. <laughs> he operates out of his house. Cop sleeps in a single bed next to his tiny, tiny dad. I've never heard of the police force being a home operation. Jeez. But no, no, that's not his bed. That bed's for the hat. Oh, of course, of course. It just, you know, the, the cop and the mayor being related, it just, I, I can't stop thinking about Hot Fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> like. Same person. <laughs> it's all for the greater good. The greater good. Ellen from miles away. You're great or good. <laughs> Tasty, Tasty time. time. This is the show where you actually get recipes. The recipes do not necessarily correlate to what's said in the show, though. You're just frying up store-bought rice balls. <laughs> yeah. Well, rice in this game has to be bought from the store in Onigiri. But you cook with it normally. Ignore that onigiri is usually like vinegared and seasoned already. <laughs> that, that, that is a finished product. We can't, we can't get rice in this town, so we gotta buy Tesco onigiri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. So <laughs> what? <laughs> So here's the thing. I think I recall a lot of these recipes being the same from on the GBA, but I think in that version, you were able to actually choose what ingredients went into which. In this game, it's you learn the recipe and then you need to have the ingredients already on hand and you just use the ingredients the game tells you to. <laughs> sort of like in Story of Seasons on the 3DS. <laughs> so that you can't accidentally poison yourself. Exactly. <laughs> oh, good. That was pretty funny. <laughs> you can't make an omelet without killing a few diners. Okay, so so I'm a I'm a I'm a big fan of Master Chef, right? Just love the show. It's mm -hmm. it's a real guilty pleasure, right? And like every time somebody tries to to feed Gordon Ramsay like undercooked chicken. You know that look he gets on his face? <laughs> I just that's that's the face I imagine when they're like, what the what the fuck is is this poison poison mushroom? You're gonna fucking kill someone. T40 time. Oh god. Everyone's at the table, drags in the mayor. Now which horse are we kneecapping this year? <laughs> Well, crap. It's a regular tea party. Oh. Oh. So you got to stand in the corner and slug down a lukewarm cup of weak green tea while they sit and stare at a cake and some pancakes. <laughs> yeah. I love that you left and they locked the door behind you immediately. <laughs> okay, now we can eat the cake. I thought she'd never leave. These pancakes are cold now, that asshole. They're so saggy. Uh, they're soggy. 
Aqua, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> we'll make you more pancakes, Aqua. All right, I think this is the third race. Let's actually place a bet. I don't have a lot of money, but I like to bet all that I have on the one horse that will win. I bet in the farm, literally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was doing it. Come on. Come on. Winning by a nose. Yeah. Hey. All right. A pony. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now you get all your money. Oh, wait, that's not money. Yeah. It's not money yet. You bet all your money for arcade tokens. Mm, yep, that's right. Well, there's there's a few really good rewards you get. One's another truth jewel. Another's another power berry. Okay. What else do we got there? Those are the only one-time prizes you can buy. The devil is a face pack. Matsutake. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff up top. Those are gifts, primarily. The big money maker here is the brooch. Uh, we are playing on simple mode. In regular mode, each one is worth 1,800. In simple mode, it's worth 2,160. Diamonds are worth 100. Don't waste your medals on those. I don't have enough for another brooch. Um, Matsutake, that's, that's a very rare mushroom that only shows up in fall. And it's worth like 500 each, so not bad, but... A full inventory of these brooches will cover you for the entire season. Shipping guy just shows up. It's like, all right, time to collect the vegetables and this bag of assorted jewelry. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 62,000. <laughs> and one diamond. Wow. I'm going to be the prettiest delivery guy ever. Hey, <laughs> nice. Just all celebrations. Icky weather. Need some brightening with some cuties. Yeah, cuties. Yes. Here we go. This this is what I show up to these fucking LPs for. <laughs> you can just Google like screenshots of the game if you want. The hell do you think I've been doing this whole time? Sitting here, you're all like, oh, we got a fruit calf and a strabobly calf and a oh, nut. Look at that sheep. Holy gee, that is the most disco ass sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna say, like, that's, that's just some woman from the 60s. <laughs> Again, all of the animal names were suggested by my Patreon patrons. Way to go, Patreon patrons. So we're giving one each of a regular cow, a sheep, and alpaca. And I am gonna get one of each of the flavored cows. We only have space for four barn animals right now. <laughs> So it's going to be the coffee cow. <laughs> and again, this is the stupidest fucking thing. That's, it's so dumb. I love it. QED. Chocolate cows give chocolate milk. It is known. The flavored cows, along with that being stupid, period, is such a waste of money because they're super expensive on their own. Their milk is... Again, it's flavored milk, which means you can't cook with it, so you can't do anything with it. And it's not really worth any more than regular milk. It's just a why the hell not kind of thing that they added. I was wondering for a second why there was no chicken breeding kit. Um, then I remembered basic <laughs> biology. Yeah. <laughs> Have a turnip, Cliff. Have a sweet, nourishing turnip in church. <laughs> <laughs> delicious food is sinful. This is the worst day for a cliff ever. <laughs> I was just sitting there eating a raw turnip in church. <laughs> Sobbing my eyes out. <laughs> Whenever Best does that little music note, I can't not read it as a wolf whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Brandon. <laughs> Found him out cold in the woods. He's what you call an idiot? Yeah, I'll say. Look at this guy picking up green wood for carving. 
chicken sculptures or. <laughs> <laughs> No. no. This is the kind of guy who hits the character limit with every single tweet. Holy jeez. But, like, has complete thoughts each time. He doesn't have to continue into a second tweet. Best, on the other hand, look at my chunky chicken. Look at the chunky girl. Hashtag so round. <laughs> Hashtag round town. Hashtag <laughs> buck buck. <laughs> hey now there's something that we've never seen in the history of anything a farmer buying an LCD TV <laughs> I mean you could get it at the general store but those people are dicks they won't sell it to you they're like yeah. why are you watching TV instead of farming here's a backpack you can use it to farm more jerk ass also every time I see grape tree I die a little <laughs> now you should do more grapes they're good for the heart plant a grape tree that'll help well, willing to accept a fruit juice cow but grape tree that's too much yes I do not like the coquettish face on that alpaca <laughs> you wanna give me some food how's it going sailor I'm just getting nice and fluffy for you please, please stop giving me come hither eyes why don't you come hither and brush my tiny body? It's actually not really beneficial. Can I brush you right in the eyeball? Yeah, that's right. Right between the eyes. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Way to go, tall sheep. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they really don't seem impressed by your fodder. <laughs> Do you like this fodder? Nah. So my granddad um, was a was a weird guy. <laughs> Is that your granddad? Yeah, basically that. That's uh, uncanny, actually. What is this steampunk ladybug idiot? <laughs> that is this game's gourmet. What the fuck? Except his name this time is Bon Vivant. Oh, he's the Bon Vivant. I prefer the mascot pervert, frankly. <laughs> it's French for good vivant. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's, he, he lives for bonbons is, is what it means. <laughs> what a boisterous thing to say. I eat my terrible cooking every day. <laughs> it's about time I got something that doesn't give me diarrhea. So did everyone just submit moonshine this year or? <laughs> I think the category this year was juice. Okay, but we all know that means, like, bathtub gin. The good juice. Yeah! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Maybe just anything made in the blender. Oh, I see. Blender time. So God knows what Karen put into hers. Lead? <laughs> The funny thing about this is the recipes only let you use ingredients that are actually in the recipe, so you can't make failed dishes this time. Yeah, I mean, so she's obviously a savant of shit cooking. Farms. Oh, it's horrible. I almost cracked my goggles. We're not done with the weird with Bon Vivant yet, though. Oh, great. Does he also have a zipper on his back and it's Woofio inside? <laughs> <laughs> he might. Prepare yourselves. Oh, God. He's got a smaller bon vivant under the hat that's, <laughs> that's piloting him. <laughs> Hooray. <sighs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, no, he's hot now. That just makes him less attractive. Juice was so good, I got himboed. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my granddad used to really <laughs> yeah. love the uh, the the jelly off of tinned ham. Mm. He was English, you see. So I mean, the war never really ended for English cuisine. <laughs> but yeah, he'd he'd eat that and a cup of boiling water, and uh, 
you know, he'd say in his in his thick Yorkshire accent, uh, you know, it's 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 good for you. I can't do a Yorkshire accent, obviously, but yeah, he's <laughs> so you know, obviously my granddad, a real bon vivant in his own way. Hello. Eh, they're okay. Heavens. <laughs> she says to the priest. <laughs> uh, you want to talk? I'm in church. Best. Can this wait? I'm busy confessing my crimes. I haven't, like, done anything. I just suck as a person. Get all the confession done first, then commit the crimes. Preemptive. Forgive me, Father, for I am about to do some real fucked up shit after we're done here. I forgive you for swearing. Oh, nice. Nice! This is easy. What? Cliff, that's the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Talking is a free action. It literally takes no time. Just, I, I don't know. Would would you two do me a favor and absolutely not talk to me again later? <laughs> oh come on, bud! Killing me here. Could you at least give me a turnip? Just give me a turnip. Come on, just give me a turnip. You're getting flour. I'll mail you a turnip, Skippy. Yes. Well, Marie, it's really simple. What we do is uh, we take massive crushing debt and turn it into food. <laughs> it's a miracle. Cause we keep making more food and yet the debt remains the same. <laughs> <laughs> and then we find these weird little forest people and make them work. All we want is tea parties. Tea parties. There we go. Oh, my God. I'd like to sell a cabinet for 10 grand. I do eventually want to upgrade the coop in the barn. I'm, I think I'm going to focus on the house first. <laughs> Get some nice windows. <laughs> yeah, we can customize the house a little bit. You can change the windows. When we upgrade it, we can change the flooring. And we can also change the mailbox. And one of the options is just bad. I hope it's a harvest sprite on a stick with his mouth open. <laughs> Almost. And his little arm is the is the flag. Now, do you hear that weird rattling in the background? It took me a long time to figure out what that was. I thought that was just part of the ambiance of nighttime. But no, that's my horse getting stuck on rocks. <laughs> I see. He's clocking coconuts together to call for help. He's vibrating against them. He's trying to clip through the world and speed run his own demise. <laughs> I'm doing a wrong warp. <laughs> so I did not time this, but yeah, you can go to the mirror and actually change your outfit. There's a handful of different colorations, like there's hoodies and there's the classic overalls, and you can change the color of those. I mentioned that the blue hoodie apparently has like the trans pride colors. And then like a week before we recorded this exact part, I came out as transgender. So perfect timing. Yay. Woo! So rock in the pride colors. Oh, don't put potatoes in the fridge. Don't put potatoes in the fridge. I always put potatoes in the fridge. Uh, These are fridge potatoes. They're supposed to go there. Okay. I like them extra disgusting. Thanks. It's not like moist coldness in the fridge. It's more like stasis. Uh, one of those fancy cryogenic fridges. Mm. Got Walt Disney's head in there, too. It's a quantum time fridge. They filmed all of Interstellar inside that fridge. <laughs> mm. That's actually what the inside of the uh, the freezer looks like. It's uh, horrifying. There's a spinning space station and everything. It'll take your head off. That's what happened to Walt Disney. That's, yeah, that's right. He just wanted some ice pops, but no. Space station. <laughs> space station. <laughs> okay, Cybera. This hard-bitten old blacksmith's there, like, dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> There's this weird little pixel on his hat that looks like a spit blob on my monitor. But no, that's just his hat. Oh, yeah, it was driving me nuts. No, I was just going to see what the two most boring people in town were up to. <laughs> 
They found each other. She's good. That mountain is full of magnetic ore. That's all it is. No, there's just this big sucking void. It's Jennifer. <laughs> it's just Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's just insufferable. Like, does she ever get better? Or is this like who she is? I don't care. I didn't bother to find out. <laughs> no bloody redemption here whatsoever. Ellie, this this is just a highlight spot the difference page. I don't I don't understand. Oh, doctor, you're so smart. You notice that this thing is not the same as this. You're amazing. Holmes, you astound me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sassy little thing. So tempting. Ah, splendid, splendid. A turnip that's the same shape as my head. <laughs> Doo -hoo. That's how I got the idea. What do I keep in my hat? It's another smaller mare that's riding <laughs> in like ratatouille. Or horse. You're doing great, buddy. <laughs> this happens every damn night. And you are powerless to stop it. No, here you go, buddy. Just go. It doesn't actually harm your horse in any way for him to get stuck out here at night. But the noise is annoying. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. You have, you know, visitors, you know, maybe, you know, a special someone over and they see your horse being an idiot. And they're like, <laughs> eh. Now you've had to guide him away. <laughs> 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 oh, this game just keeps on giving. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> he had this wide-eyed panic look when you're pushing him the opposite <laughs> way from his bed. He's like, that's not the way home is. And he got so freaked out, he fell asleep immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Just passed out from stress. Oh, burrito. I don't have a pet. Unless you mean the Harvest Sprites. <laughs> hmm. Play fetch for the Sprites. Hey, Harvest Sprites. How'd you like to go for a different kind of tea party? <laughs> it's at the beach. Oh, Bess, we don't we don't go for those anymore. Where, where's the where's the tea? Where's where's the tea? Uh, it's on this frisbee. You gotta catch it. <laughs> can I be your pet for the festival? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think floor nine is the last floor where you can. Hey. Nice. Um, where you can only find upgrade ores. From floor 10 below, you start finding more specialty ores. Like what? You will see. Oh, okay. Don't leave me in suspense. <laughs> yeah, you get better ores, like, you know, canoe paddles and the... <laughs> oh, I swear to God, Yemi no Senshi. You can't kill me. You'd have to come to New Jersey to do it. Ah. And someone will kill you there first. Oh, no. I've been to New Jersey. It was fine. You've been to Yami's house, haven't you? No, 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 no. no we did no. have lunch. Oh. Yes, I bought him beer and we met a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the most American thing I'd ever seen. And welcome to summer. Yeah. Mm. All right. Summer's got some funky ass music. Summer Jam slaps. Everyone put on your shorts and sunscreen. No, actually, I'm going to wear my uh, extra warm pajamas for summer. Wow. I'm going to be sweltering in these. You're wearing a half pound of clammy sweat by noon. How many harvest sprites did you have to skin for that? <laughs> oh, yeah. And all the nature sprites worship us. Yeah. All hail best. All hail best. She is the goodest. We shall water her crops with our blood and water. Tea party. Tea party. Our blood is water. Oh, poor little guy. No wonder they pass out so often. <laughs> <laughs> and so next time we will begin summer proper by planting a crap ton of pineapple. 
Oh, yeah. And we will meet a new character who only shows up in summer. Honestly, he's a guy I wish I had kind of guided people to voting for because he's actually a really cool character. Way to go, team. You screwed up. Yep. We got some boring library nerd. Well, how did you guys feel about that first season? It was busy. That was long. That had to have been like four or five straight hours of footage. I think I still have the captures. Like four or five hours edited. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to these like, mostly I remember the tail ends, I guess. But I'm used to them jumping all over the place. Oh, yeah. Like, so anyway, we're on week four of winter. Nothing happened. Hello, winter. Goodbye, winter. It is about 250 gigs of footage just for spring one. <sighs> Hot potatoes. That's a lot. The length just of the raw footage is 10 hours. Oh. So, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe to the Patreon so Thorne can buy more hard drives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least one of my hard drives died in the process of making this LP, so. Rip. It was plum. You didn't pay your protection, honey. If I ain't sticky, you're getting kicked in the dicky. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute when he's threatening. <laughs> I got to admit, I was a little worried about this one because, like, Animal Parade really felt like the pinnacle of how weird and dumb Harvest Moon can be. <laughs> there was a lot going on, so it was a little weird that this would be something like a trio of towns where it's just like, eh, so basic. You know, it's just a regular whatever. But I'm happy to see that there's plenty of wackiness to be had in this one. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in, like, the fringes of this one. It's, oh. you know, it's a lot of people's favorite for good reason. Like, they they added some crummy characters. I don't like the, the red and black twins. Yeah, I think they're both pretty, pretty tedious. But I do yeah, like we... the Harvest Sprites. Yeah. And just how bizarre they are. We are projecting bizarreness onto them, but yeah. Are you kidding? All they are is just a bunch of little weirdos that live in a shack and obsess over tea parties. <laughs> it's, they're so strange. They're just bizarre little dudes. And like, they labor for free just because they're your buddy? What is going on? They're like this weird little cult. I don't trust anybody that sleeps in a big room of beds all pushed together. There's <laughs> just something wrong with that. Army, you don't trust army recruits? No, 100% no, but for different oh, okay. reasons. <laughs> That's more of the state-sanctioned murderer thing, but whatever. You don't know what the sprites do. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good point. Well, there's no way they're state-sanctioned. They're like a guerrilla army living out there, but they're missing a charismatic leader. <gasps> Until now! Sprites on frontiers. The true endgame. Oh my god! You're going to pull down a statue of the mayor. <laughs> it's not going to go very far because it's a very small statue. But... Form an army without a country. Sprites. <laughs> Best boss. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the lizards. Pretty weird. Send the guinea pig after him. <laughs> Unlike the horse race, where you don't need to have a horse ready to go, you could still watch the races, you can't watch the Fetch Fest. I wanted to see some damn dogs. Uh, this game's way too light on cuties. Imagine, in your mind, a dog chasing a disc. No, stop, because you're not allowed to see that this year. No, I'm imagining it right now. You can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. His little feet. <laughs> hmm. Pets can do things. Wait, they're not just little poo boxes? I mean, they are that too. They're absolutely little poo boxes. <laughs> no, Kai, I didn't. So, what is that? Grape milk? That looks disgusting. And an omu rice? What the fuck? Let's see if they pair. Just like some stupid baby rolling into the bar in your gym jams and they feed you omu <laughs> rice and strawberry milk. I've killed five people. Let me tell you what a farmer does all the time. We farm. Mostly I walk around and give garbage to people so they like me. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, um, okay. We got a brief glimpse of it during the fetch fest, but Potpourri likes Kai. It's not super explicit if it's like romantic or whatever, but she will show up during summer, come down to the beach and hang out with him. And she was standing next to him during the fetch fest. Hmm. God forbid a woman have agency. <laughs> That's a good face. But you know, Rick just coming up to a black guy and screaming at him is not a good look. <laughs> nope. And trying to control his sister. Not good either. So, uh, yes, please dispose of the entire Rick in the proper receptacle. Yeah. Don't forget the silent P. <laughs> Kai doesn't even care. He's just like, eh, time moves kind of slow here, doesn't it? I stepped outside for five minutes and I've already aged a year. Tobacco, mostly. Tons of pineapples. Just tons of pineapples, dude. Pineapples is the correct answer because Kai loves pineapples. They're his favorite gift. And you can choose that regardless of if you have pineapples growing or not. Just telling him what he wants to hear. And then you really like get into an awkward situation where he's like, I'd love to come by and see these pineapple trees. And you're like, ah, oh, sh shit. <laughs> Looking at your empty bank account. Uh, yeah, uh, you mind waiting like three days? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect the phrase friggin' blazon to be in any of these games. All right, let's put all this crap into the ground. I'm casting my sprinkle spell. Yeah, the backing track of them watering is not helping the music. <laughs> nope, that is way out of key. <laughs> Sprinkle time! It's our version of jazz! Yeah! It's making everything seem really frantic. <laughs> like you're in the last six seconds of a Mario Party game. <laughs> get those seeds out. Jeez. Really can't get over the alpaca's weirdly come hither <laughs> look. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's got some very saucy eyes. Okay, here's here's what's bothering me about the alpaca. Those those eyes. They look like the eyes of a cartoon character you'd find painted on the wall of a Soviet daycare. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they're, they're off-brand Mickey Mouse or that fucking weird bear. It was Harris's birthday, and I was looking around for him, trying to find where he was to give him a gift. He'll actually be hanging out outside his house at night. That's an easy place to find him. I'm on patrol, but I don't actually know how to patrol. They just stand here and look for crime. There's no crime in my pocket. Hmm. But there is a cough drop. <laughs> <laughs> but next time, we will actually see a festival with animals in it, finally. At fucking last. And we can actually take part in it. Ah, oh, it's been so long. But then things will take a turn for the worse. Oh, no. Skippy, we can't afford to send you to cutie detox again. I just, I need them. I need their little snoots. Ah, oh, their little snoots for booping. I just, I need it. I just need a little bit. Just give me a little snoot. I just need a little boop snoot. Ah, you get the straight jacket. I'll get the cheeseburger memes. Yeah. <laughs> Allows you to make food requiring a pot. Thank God. No shit. You're the cooking guy. Can you confirm that you need a pot to make pot foods? That is correct. What about a deep pan? Ooh, that's... You're getting into some dark science there, my friend. What about a big bowl? With a universal lid. I'm, I'm sorry, I looked away for a second. What do you mean send birds into the fray? We're doing chicken sumo. Are you cockfighting? That's fucked up! 
I would not trust my chickens with this man. I mean, Rick is a horrible person, so no wonder he runs a cockfighting ring. All right, it's time for you to be an extremely, uh, um, what am I looking at here? Great farmer. Yeah, just like a really bad person. Just a really <laughs> shockingly bad pet owner. Let the feathers fly? Excuse me? I thought the last time you said that there was a festival with little cuties. This is not what I was expecting. They're very sad. This is very, very sad. This is not cool. On the plus side, they don't attack each other. They just scream at each other. Oh, come on. That's so stressful for the little babies. No, rather, you scream at the chicken. The chicken then runs at the other chicken, and hopefully the other chicken sees the chicken running at it and turns around and runs away. That's horrible. You're trying to get your chicken to intimidate the other chicken out of the arena. So it's like sumo if instead of pushing at each other, they just went, ooh. Boogie boogie boogie. Boogie boogie boogie. Open up, open up, open up, Riveting. I did it. You won. So thankfully, some of the nature sprites weren't working today. I might have done that intentionally, I'm not sure. But because they're available, it means I can have them take care of the animals. This is the old school Harvest Moon thing of when a typhoon shows up, you can't leave the house. Basically, it's a completely wasted day and you're, you are going to lose some of your crops because there's going to be some damage to the farm. Not as much as you might expect, luckily. But that also means that your animals are stuck indoors and you can't do anything about it. But the nature sprites can still go into the barn and take care of them. Also, I found another way to cheese the chicken feeding minigame. Well, this is gross as hell, but I can't get over the mental image of like a bunch of harvest sprites just like tied at the waist to each other with a with a piece of rope clinging <laughs> to trees. Just, we gotta get to the bar. We gotta feed the chickens. We gotta feed the chickens. Then the ring snaps and it's like, pumpkin, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> he goes flying off into the sky. Tell poor she's my hero! Remember me! Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> Doc. About Jeff's body. In the city, we have patient doctor confidentiality. Hey, ah, uh, guess what? <laughs> Jeff is a very sick man. It turns like an ulcer it's when you have a hole in your stomach lining. His stomach lining is more whole than not, so I don't know what to call it anymore. <laughs> Actually, my blood is the wrong type. Uh, it turns out it's tomato bisque. This is very weird. I feel like this is supposed to happen during a typhoon. Or at least at some random point. But this goes on for like a minute straight of just me sitting there. <laughs> Quietly in the dark. Toolulu, toolulu. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. If only someone had invented fire or lanterns. Oh. Well, thank goodness the lights are on. Now I can go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to see how fucked the farm is. Not as fucked as you might think. Right. I got some really good luck. I think I lost like six crops, like just a handful of tomatoes. Damn, not yeah. too bad. Yeah, like I, I remember getting some of it's like 50-50. Also got a shit ton of onions. Onions, onions. I think I spent most of the day picking these. I'm really glad I didn't lose any of my pineapples. That would have sucked. Oh, wouldn't that have been a piss off? You could see where I could have lost some. Typhoons mostly add the small rocks and twigs. They do add a couple boulders and what have you. Like, say, that big boulder took out uh, four tomatoes. I just made tomato paste on the vine. Nice and fresh. That's a lot of onions. Oh, yeah. Mm. Holy crap. Let's make soup. Nearly 6,000 just from onions. Holy crap. I'm gonna get yourself banned from the Chicago Stock Exchange. 
making making onion money now. God, this is like being trapped. Do you know how to make anything with onions? Mashed onions? Would you like an onion? Would you like a hundred onions? Can I get you an onion? Mono, can I get you an onion? I have a lot of onions. Can I add some can I add some brown onions to my mashed potatoes? Yes. Mmm, that sounds nice. Would you like this chocolate covered onion? <laughs> I've made onion milk. <laughs> <laughs> I juiced this onion. <laughs> my eyes don't work anymore, but would you like some? I've been deeply harmed by the onions. I must wear a gray. Yes. Yeah. I'm in mourning for flavor. <laughs> and I like the, the special feature of your vase. You can put flowers in it. Go ahead, put flowers in it. See if I care. This serves nothing, but it's, it's cute, I guess. I did it. I think it looks nice. You did the thing. It, uh, it, it helps repair the psychological damage of onion milk. At last, I can smell something different. Ah, lovely. It reminds me, I bought some candles I need to light. Hmm. They don't smell like onions, they smell like lavender. Fine. Well, what's even the point? I'm not gonna tell you how to live. I will get some onion candles. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> the hell? Somebody needs to sell onion candles is the thing. Oh, I smell a business opportunity. Yeah, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, I saw something in the book, how there's like a string of eight letters after each apple type. How, how involved is this? Oh, yeah, that's just a load of horseshit from Wong. That's another thing. At random events, he'll come to your house and say, I'm selling these special apples. They have these long idiotic acronyms in front of them. They're all, all three of them are technically just apples, but they do count as like unique items in the shipping log. Oh, for fuck. It's not a pink lady apple. It's a <laughs> apple. I was just looking at the series to see if that was like an acronym for one of the games, but <laughs> like HM could mean Harvest Moon. I don't know. I don't know though. It's essentially like hyper mega super great. That kind of horseshit. Oh, it's straight up horseshit. I yep. see. Well then. That's some anime horseshit. Speaking of anime horseshit, Karen can't cook. Hey, go figure. She's cute and she can't cook. Who saw that coming? Sasha, that's horrible. The dude's got an ulcer. That could kill him. Maybe that's part of the plan. Ah. Uh, How much life insurance do they have on him? Yeah, she's trying to get control of the general store. Karen, honey, just put that in the garbage to keep warm. I don't know how I got her to a green heart. She's very easy to befriend, I guess. I, th I figured I'd come by. Do you have any rat poison available? Yeah, I actually am looking for some staggeringly disgusting food. Do you guys have... <laughs> oh, good, you get to eat it. I've been having trouble sleeping lately, and, like, I could go to the doctor, but no, I want something that knocks me out immediately. Right? I just... I need a couple of days off, and the only way I could justify it is if I got just crippling food poisoning. <laughs> so... That's fucked up, Sasha. That's very awkward. That's a very awkward thing to say. And I was looking for something that's a diuretic and an emetic. <laughs> <laughs> She's best. Sure. Maybe she could smell it. Maybe that's why. Keep in mind, we've been to the cooking festival. We've seen what she can do. Unforgivable meals. <laughs> this is my best work yet. This one still has its shape. It's almost identifiable as part of an animal. Best, that's a cauliflower steak. What the fuck? 
Anna died. Yep. It's the second time this episode that you ended up in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> now we get to play as one of the Harvest Sprites. <laughs> yeah, we keep having to come here. We might be able to afford to send Doctor to medical school. <laughs> Dr. Faith, I'm thinking you still smell it on her. <laughs> uh, he had to give best mouth to mouth. <laughs> he <laughs> tasted the residue and passed out himself. Gee, I wonder how you're going to get hospitalized in this one. Uh, Wolverine attack. <laughs> oh, no, it's I don't have any plans. It's only summer, the most fucking busy season. Bess, can you talk to the doctor? He went and bought a Wolverine and... Ugh. Don't buy a Wolverine. Calls it bitey. It's my medical Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional support Wolverine. <laughs> See, he gets me. Open up your heart to everyone. You're doing you're you're off to a great start telling everyone <laughs> their medical business <laughs> in front of other people. Open up my open up my heart, you say. Well, I need a system of mirrors, I suppose. <laughs> and... <laughs> Flowers just wilt. She needs a friend. I guess that's me. Oh, good. Jump on that grenade. Crunch. <laughs> sure. Yeah, just randomly barging into hotel rooms. Brown, are you okay? I heard somebody shrieking. Oh, that was the flower. <laughs> you work at an inn. There will be people here. Yes. Well, you say singing. Again, I, I thought that maybe you'd gotten your face caught under a mattress or something. <laughs> Got a cat stuck in the vacuum. Got a vacuum stuck in the cat. Something. Hmm. Whatever would make the more shrill noise. Filth is my friend. Ah, finally, we have a motto. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Best's Farm. Filth is my friend. No, no, no. Like I meant us, us. Oh, yeah. The farm fucks. Filth is our friend. Uh, filth is our friend. We work blue. Except when there's cuties around. <laughs> then we just melt like warm marshmallows. Hell yeah, Kai rules. He's bachelor as hell. <laughs> Oh, and to you. Oh, hi, Jennifer. I swear to God. You just want to, like, give that gal a swirly or something. <laughs> just hold her by the ankles and dunk her in the turlet. Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. You'll be happy to know now we can buy super caffeine. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I see that a, a Think Geek distribution center opened up here. For extra fun, you can feed super caffeine to Plum and see how long it takes for his <laughs> tiny heart to explode. It was such a wonderful book. Dessert Person by Claire Saffitz. <laughs> it is a wonderful book. I got to the Forever Brownies and I thought, oh God, they're going to outlive me. Oh God. What's wrong with your family this time, Jeff? <laughs> so bad that you had to come to me. You couldn't wait for me to show up. <laughs> Guys, let me stop you right here. I'm not letting you start a grow up on my back 40. What age? The age when I guess you're supposed to give someone a flower. Start popping out babies. Well, I mean... Why would we need babies? We have harvest sprites. <laughs> Take care of the same way. Feed them honey. Leave them in the yard. Jerry, get the fuck back to work! <laughs> what are you doing out of the field? The... the did I fucking summon these things? <laughs> <laughs> Plum.
Plum, where do you get real money? God knows that I don't pay you. <laughs> nobody does, and nobody has to. Just take all those gifts and turn around and ship them themselves. I'm small enough to fit up the coin return of a Coke machine. <laughs> nobody can see us, and that includes bank security cameras. <laughs> But anyway, cow time. <laughs> I noticed. Just uh, feeling a little playful today, huh? Just, uh, I, I don't like best dressed as a cow brandishing a milker. <laughs> 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 when I did my first impression stream of this game like a year or two ago, first thing I did, I think, was put on the cow costume. And thus, best became the night cow was the joke in the stream. The, the night cow, huh? Well, we all need a hobby, I suppose. <laughs> Throw her in. I'm here to help you. Night cow away! Do you mean the Kappa? Because I don't think he gives a shit. If you mean the Harvest Goddess, no. She lives in the Kappa's shed. <laughs> One. Why does the lake need a name? The lake doesn't care what it's called. So we can sell the rights to large corporations in return for sums of money? Yes, <laughs> somebody's looking to open a resort. We shall call it Louis Vuitton Lake. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it? Whatever, dude. Fine. Harvest Goddess shows up and just shrugs. Congratulations, I dubbed the Isabella. Can I go now? Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to use that name in public. <laughs> Believe me. Because we don't feel like changing their dialogue. All right, Harvest Goddess, meet your toilet, Isabella. So what was that about? Drinking water? Because I've been shoveling cow shit into this. <laughs> and I don't mean my own. How are you still not in your tent? I don't know why that bugs me. I've just never seen her in her tent. Even though the first time I played this, that was where I met her. She doesn't actually live there. She just keeps it up for appearances. I mean, yeah, she actually sleeps in the inn, so I don't know why the tent is there. <laughs> of course. Of course she goes glamping. <laughs> God, I remember when I found out about glamping. And then it was in my phone's autocorrect dictionary and I died a little. <laughs> Excuse you, I saved your steak. I have it very hard. Look at me. I've read like two books here. Okay, that's amazing, though. That's more than most people nowadays. <laughs> What's a book? What's two? It's like the internet, but slower. Sounds boring. It is. Um, does it include some rando's horrible opinion? Frequently. <laughs> Depends who wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> so you make fried rice and you're like, oh shit, I could probably boil this egg. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Mm-hmm. You see that clever cut? It's because I'm a cow. That means the barn is my house. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed something was a little off. I, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were going for, but it turns out you were just being clever. 
Look, I, I know, you know, your mom kept asking you, do you live in a barn every time you <laughs> left the door open, but... The answer is yes. I'm a cow. Mom, you broke me. Moo. Farmers would literally dress up as cows rather than go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Dressing up as a cow is my therapy. Is this a trick question? Or? You know, hot dogs have a bad rap. <laughs> What they don't tell us is that the medicine in question is laudanum. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> Just, We're having a party in there now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Born, was this on purpose? Nope. I wish it was, though. I'm glad I reminded you, Marie. <laughs> Been ready for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Moo Moo Festival, what's that? Never heard of such a thing. I have very little interest in cows. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nuts time to shine. Which is why I chose Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, cows never sin. <laughs> well, let's break that down. Does that mean that no matter what a cow does, it's not a sin? Correct. Yeah, they have a, they have a free pass. That's, that's how cows work. Because a long time ago, I did see a video of a cow just eat a chicken whole. <laughs> <laughs> nope, completely fine. Actually, that cow is a saint now. <laughs> the chicken had it coming. Hmm, what if we had them fight? <laughs> mm. Okay, so new plan. Next year, Mocha enters you in the Moo Moo Festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't pass out! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that looks uncomfortable. Oh gosh. Looks like you're wearing the cow home. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. Nothing like a cow in a pineapple patch. Yeah, wait, is that a saying? Well, Straw Hat knows the first for everything, so it is now. There you go. Look at that, folks. You're, you guys are watching this LP like a cow in a pineapple patch. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice chunk of money i think it's like five thousand uh, it's like 500 each pineapple or something good guy and that's 36 of them i oh, know it's 600 because it's simple mode <laughs> oh good now we can finally finish all those pizzas somebody is gonna fight you in the comments and you're gonna be so happy that's fine <laughs> i don't read the comments why are all your tools got I heart best inscribed in the side? <laughs> Why is this sickle you made wistful? <laughs> it gives it minus two sharpness. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Just immediately <laughs> go to a hotel room? <laughs> well, um... Okay, now I can give her the flower. Oh, oh no, I don't... Mm. It was either my house or the hotel. <laughs> Rick's still waiting for me at the hotel, so... Jesus. Not like that, not like that! So I know in the original Japanese version, they sort of buried this. Same gender relationships are implemented, but you don't see the heart on a person of the same gender. And they play it as the best friends thing from Harvest Moon DS, which got taken out in the American version. In the US version, everything is as it is. 
Um, and I think I read, I heard somewhere that someone in the localization team took special effort to make sure everything is very inclusive. Everything is treated exactly the same, regardless of the gender. That was nice of them. Hmm. That was still the most awkward cutscene I've ever seen, though. Yeah. Uh, I do, ma'am, ma'am. I don't want to. <laughs> Fine. Help me! Some horrible woman pushed me in here. Just sell me some onions and I'll leave. I would say let's take her appendix out, but they won't sell me a knife yet. Hmm. Her stomach hurts. Tonsils. Yep. Let's get him out. I'm just going to start cutting until she feels better. <laughs> Night cow to the rescue. <laughs> Shing. Hey! We call it trapped wind. <laughs> kind of. Everything. Everything. Hey, churros. Yes. Blah. No. Here's a hint, Kai. You only show up in one of them. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have the willpower for birthdays. How do I feel? She's fine. Oof. Oh, you profound dork. What the fuck? It's okay. He's a dad. Ah. That was his test. Unbelievable. <laughs> Dudley, what are you doing? <laughs> Knock it off, you creep. Reason what? The, the... Reason doesn't matter when you're dressed like a cow, I suppose. <laughs> Guess he's not wrong. Ron, how do you feel about best? None of your business, Punch! Hear that? It's the helicopter parent. <laughs> That's really weird. Like second most awkward conversation. Dudley is definitely the guy who will go with you on your first date, no uh, matter how old you are. Not even to like chaperone, just to like cheer you on. <laughs> Wingman and you with his own daughter. He's great. These aren't the most awkward cutscenes I've had in the whole LP. Uh, why don't you ask her? This is a little awkward because at this point in the day, Ron spawns in beside the counter and then she walks out normally. But because it's a cutscene, she's just stuck there. <laughs> And now I can't talk to Dudley. There we go. <laughs> what even the fuck? <laughs> hey, Fridge, what do you feel about Ran? <laughs> Look the pup part. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, you look like a farm. <laughs> Gee, what <laughs> gave it away? Okay, you got me there, but still. <laughs> I'm like chicken with the log. You know, glass houses, Jennifer. <laughs> 
Tell me more about how fucking mystical a lake is. You dipshit. <laughs> she seems fine. I would never marry into that family, though, because, oh my god, can you imagine spending the rest of your life with goddamn Dudley? He's the kind of guy that, when you move, he buys the house next door. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. Oh, god, what day are we on? The 28th, so we're gonna miss Zach's birthday. Oh, bummer. Uh... It's okay, we know which birthday is more important. <laughs> yeah, plums. And we've already passed it. You better not forget. I'll introduce you to my friend Isabella. The, the chicken or the lake? Whichever one kills you if you're wearing cement <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I'm not sure that narrows it down. Well, if you put it that way. I did need to go to the shack to get Cherry to look after my animals. But I don't have a single solitary thing to wear. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I've left. Did you see a washing machine in there? You knew what I was. A date, huh? Why don't we go to your job? <laughs> <laughs> reading sucks. I hate reading. Bleh. That's for losers. Imagine if my girlfriend made books. Ew. Oh, jeez. Contributing to more books being in the world. Ugh. Yeah, well, Popori, you're not fucking invited. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just an excuse to make out in the stacks. That sounds like a weird take on like water for chocolate. <clears throat> I mean, it, I imagine that's not the only book in the world that combines a story with recipes. It doesn't work in the bedroom, though. Nope, you're illiterate. This book is called Go Away by I'm on a Date. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the Take the Hint trilogy. I can't make anything if it's not part of a series these days, huh? Nope. Everything everything's part of a, a cinematic universe. Yep. This one's called the OK, see you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. <laughs> okay, bye. Now let's go smoke it up upstairs. <laughs> smoke it up. <laughs> well, that was cute. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just, the implication there is that she locked you out. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I can't wait to recommend some books. <laughs> Click. Like, this is some dirty horse shit. Every time you do it, I just get madder and madder. But all right, I think I got things taken care of. Z can't check the weather during the typhoon. Back to bed, I guess. Yep. Well, you know what would suck? Imagine if there were two typhoons in a row. Oh. I guess summer's over. Oops. <laughs> Happy birthday, best. 
Best birthday ever. <laughs> it got you a natural disaster. <laughs> that was miserable when that happened. Oh, God. Wow, was that ever balls and a half. So so how does that work? Like, I remember in, in the first Super Nintendo one, if you missed a day for your animals, like, your cows wouldn't produce for, like, a week. Yeah. Yeah, that was annoying. I think in this one, the only penalty is they don't produce the day after. But if you feed them again, they will the next day. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. A lot more forgiving. It's not like your cows are very productive anyway. Exactly. Your tiny little old school lunch milk cartons every day. Just a drop. Just a wee droppy for your tea. Splash of milk from nut. <laughs> some nut milk. I say I've been missing out on some good nut milk jokes, no. I think. No! <laughs> Stop! Nut milk. <laughs> nut milk. Yeah, me! <laughs> Darn! <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, next time we begin fall, and if you thought summer was productive, at least as far as crops, just you wait and see all the crops you can grow. Cha-ching, baby! You better hope you've upgraded your watering can. They introduced tobacco! Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. We're beginning autumn, after we lost the last two days of summer. <laughs> Including our own birthday. Yeah. Although, honestly, you know, sitting in bed eating eggs, that seems like a pretty good way to spend a birthday. On the plus side, <laughs> birthdays are actually very uneventful. All that happens is your friends who have a, at least three musical notes send you a letter. Everyone in town likes me, so like my mailbox is way too full. Ah... Uh. It's so full to the point where the mayor has to come over to your house and be like, you know, it wouldn't kill you to open a letter once in a while. It wouldn't kill you to leave your house in a storm to clear it out. Who delivered the letters? <laughs> I just kind of left them outside on a table and hoped for the best. You know, this is a far cry from the early games when there was nothing to grow in autumn. Yeah. Just half the game was just, nope, enjoy doing nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you mean enjoy forging relationships and hitting on that hottie down at the church. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got? Yammies? What? We got beans. Ooh, what? pimientos. We're, uh, we're growing yammies. Oh. We're, uh, we're gonna drop, drop some yammies and, uh, grow them up. Drop them under some burning leaves, you know, like you do. That sounds uncomfortable. Hey, man. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the dish. Oh, well. It's food science, big guy. I am big on food science, so, okay, I'll... Yeah, this, this is it. I'll get my asbestos blanket. For the sake of the food lab, you know, you gotta... Gotta get on under there. Ah, uh, the food lab. Better home cooking through burning me alive. <laughs> it's such a good cookbook, man. I'll get my banjo. <laughs> Banjoin for Jesus. Or Harvest Goddess. I'm glad you think I can play the ocarina. Wait. I come from the city. <laughs> so uh so you're in for the ocarina, right? That's that's what we need. We need uh we need an ocarina player. Uh, you have four solos and um a duet with Cliff. First chair ocarina. Bring your own chair. I should have a yellow heart. That, what an amazing sound combination, huh? Organ and ocarina. <laughs> yeah. Will you even be able to hear me? I, mm. <laughs> nope, electric sitar. They they set up a they set up a, a girl band for for the town. Like, what's going on here? I guess so. We got organ, ocarina, two flutes, and vocals. Ah, uh, so... What is this now, a, like, Mumford & Sons cover band? <laughs> <laughs> the concert is funky. In most games, it's generally an excuse to just play a song from a previous game. 
And I think that's all that's happening here. I'm not sure what song this is, though. The horn, dub one of your songs over. <laughs> Micronova! <laughs> Well, this is, uh, this is fine, I guess. This is sure a thing that happened. You know what I love most? More people were in the band than actually came to watch the performance. <laughs> Man, isn't that just the thing? It's like a Muppet and Sons. <laughs> oh, hey, remember those bullshit apples? Yeah. Now we can buy some. The Sugdu. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There, we already had that one. Okay. Do you have asthma, Wong? Okay. That one ascends me to heaven, I guess. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, those apples sound amazing. Um, and because I like you, you have 30 seconds before I start shooting. <laughs> I'm feeling ape for you today. Get out of here, you rascal. It's almost mean of the game to give it its own place in the shipping log. <laughs> the game should just, he should just sell you literally the regular item, the apple. Hey, finally. Hey, all right. Are you ready to invite a fire hazard into your home? I already have like three. Oh, yeah. Including Plum. <laughs> Plum's going to get stuck in it. It's going to be like, hello. Hello! I thought I smelled cookies, but I was wrong! <laughs> the oven's used! It was the last owner! Mm. Ooh, big egg! Nice eggy. That's a... That's a good egg. Unlike Plum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running errands for Mama today, and she's right here making sure I do it right. Yeah. That's the future M.I.L., folks. You did this. <laughs> You've invited Anna into our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's going to take care of the wedding. But that also means I don't have to do anything. Hey, that actually sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be like, best, no. Best, you can't, you can't wear the reindeer suit. You can't, this is the best day of your life. You're not wearing the reindeer suit. How can it be the best day of my life if I'm not wearing the reindeer suit? <laughs> See, that's just a just a grim vision of things to come. It's telling that everyone is at like minimum blue hearts, except for Rick. Hmm. <laughs> 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 hmm. Yeah, it is pretty telling, isn't it? Mushrooms. This one is tasty. This one kills you. This one makes you take off all your clothes and see God. You can ambush him. Oh, I'm waiting for 4 p.m. to happen. Ah. Uh, 4 p.m. is when Carter lets his hair down and really <laughs> gets weird. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh-huh. Because now he's hearing voices. Right. Which one is the confessional? Where is it? Does the Church of the Harvest Goddess even do confession? It's the door on the left. Really? Can you go in there and confess all of your farming sins? You can. Unreal. It has to be a specific time of day. I think only like Wednesdays and Fridays around this time.
There's not a lot that happens in the confessions. Like you can say, I hurt my animals or I overworked the harvest sprites. Or a third thing that we'll be dealing with in winter. A oh, wintertime sin, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I made Cherry eat the yellow snow. Cool, that sounds disgusting. I'm there. <laughs> and you can't grow level 99 poison mushrooms anymore, so finally we're safe. <laughs> Damn, we'll never get rid of the bon vivant. Look at all those yammies. <sighs> My children. Ah, oh, look at all those little popotos. Yams grow really fast. We do. They're nature's perfect food. I am? Yes. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. No, this tomato's just stuck to my scalp. Yeah. No, it's my outfit, Mare. <laughs> You didn't like me being in a cow outfit, so I'm a tomato now. Me, I don't even have teeth. Oh, eat anything I can keep down, best two out of three. <laughs> Apparently. I probably talked to him the most when he showed up. Uh, I, no, it's, it's, it's grapes. It's I, grapes. I will pay you to never say that again. It's, uh, it's not, it's not, I assure you it's not poopy. Well, it sounds like she's expecting a shitty birthday. Uh, yeah. And she's gonna make sure everyone knows about it. Raw flour, thank God. Um. Well, your husband's awful. But I'm just a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, happy birthday. <laughs> Bye. Boomers really are the progenitor of the question. Are the straights okay? <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, if it's on Twitter, they would just be nothing but are the, you know, the straights are at it again memes. Mm. <laughs> and as a straight, let me tell you, we are always at it. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Popery looks so upset. Why are we here? Why is this church here? Why is this big, expensive cursed tool? Cursed tool. That's the winter thing I was talking about. You mean like Mana's husband? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Zing! Okay, so unequipped cursed tool. Divorce. <laughs> Make butter. It's amazing. After making all this pudding, what if there was a pudding that was made of milk and salt? <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Building up all my ingredients, getting most of the cooking utensils. I still don't have the mixer, but I've got enough that I can actually start really cooking some shit. Well, I mean, wait until you get married and somebody will probably get it off your registry. Some asshole will buy a KitchenAid because they want to win your wedding. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> fucking win it. Yeah. Give me that for free. I don't care. Yeah, yeah seriously. Screw it. I'll just have the KitchenAid. Thanks. I, I was looking at those. The professional ones, the bowl lift ones. A thousand bucks. Yeah. Unreal. I mean, the basic ones are a couple hundred. Yeah. The uh, basic ones will run you about the same as a miter saw. We know which side Skippy's bread is carved on. Well, you know. It, it was the choice. I was either going to buy a miter saw or a stand mixer, and I figured I'd get more use out of the miter saw. I can whip my own cream, thank you very much. Skippy, this is a family show. Hey. Hey. Churros. 
That's another Skippy favorite. I haven't had churros in ages. Dang, there's so much good food here. Oh, churros are great. It's getting pretty close to dinner time, I think. It's <laughs> yeah, it is. That's, that's probably part of it. What do you mean you built a collection? Are you not eating them? Are they just sitting at the bottom of that lake? <laughs> just got them in glass cases. Can I have the dish back? Thanks for the rock. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Dramatic zoom in. How's it going, Marie? What What's she doing? Looking out for Draculas? Okay, tonight's moonlit night. So the person that you have the highest heart rating with will show up here. Ah. Great. Let's look out for Draculas together. I was going to give her this grass, but it didn't work out how I went, so this is how the cutscene is going, I guess. She's... Best arms start trembling, but she's just <laughs> cutting through it. Still have it. It was kind of creepy how much slower I brought it out than usual. <laughs> I see. Poison mushrooms in the fridge. Sounds good. <laughs> Where else are they going to go? No, oh, you don't want them to spoil. Somebody could get sick. So is this, uh, is this a romance cutscene or a friendship cutscene? Romance. We've seen all the friendship cutscenes. Once you're actually in a relationship, they're romance. Why is she so bloody formal then? Because it's Marie. This is so stilted. Loosen up, lady. Anyway, this book sounds badass, but it needs more rampages? <laughs> yeah, like, how many pages are you gonna view describing gore and bloodshed? Right, how many, how many spines, how many spines are in the, in the book? Gotta be a lot of spines. Yeah, I'm hoping for, like, George R. R. Martin describing food levels. Like, I'd like this to be the red wall of spines. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wall of spines. That's, yes. that's good. You can use that one. That one's free. Yeah, actually, yeah. Go go for it. Wall of spines. Well, that's sudden, but all right. The, the intense. It's very you know. intense. Oh, Because I love you, red wall of spines. Oh, she's writing her book out loud. Oh! Uh, cue the blushing. Mm, there we go. Well, I can tell this is this is true love because uh, Marie is weird and a gigantic pain in the ass. <laughs> but you're still into it, so that's nice. Tell you what, I'm going to make the goddess curse him with, like, slight extra sensitivity to cold. Then they can stay together. Oh, my teeth! It's Matsutake's, I swear! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember what I said about taking off all your clothes and seeing God? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when when he was talking about the guy who hangs out at the church all the time, I don't think he meant the priest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but whatever. We have one thing. Yep. Down a bottle of Merlot. Feeling great. Where's Plum? I got some words for him. <laughs> you should have been named Grape. That's what's wrong with you. It really... I just... You know, it, I don't want to sound like an asshole here, but, <laughs> you know, just... Of all the purple fruits, why Plum? Why Plum? It's the inferior choice. We don't even get plums here. You know... You dry a grape, what do you get? A raisin. You dry, dry a, you know, prune or something. I don't know. You're okay, kid. 
All right, and now Cliff works all the time at the vineyard. There we go. Congratulations, Cliff. You get to deal with their horse shit now. <laughs> oh, is it the ponies? Are we going to be playing the ponies? Second round of ponies. Oh, a little Straboobly friend. First, we're going to be playing the cowies. Yay! Donkey. Donkey the cow. My patrons know what's funny. I, uh, you know what? Long as somebody's laughing. Hi, Mocha, you little vibey. You little vibey, how you doing? You little bell on your tail, get out of here. I live here. Did you get out of here, you <laughs> little baby? Yemi, what's your stance on cheesecake? Tell us, tell us a thing about cheesecake, my friend. So I did the usual thing. Did a run through. Saw which horses won. And then I went back and I actually bought some medals. I'm risking most of it on Eddie and a little bit on Debbie. Ah, uh, little hedge. If either one wins, then this will cover me for a while. <laughs> no, you yellow fucker, get back. Yes. Whoa. Money in the bank. Two thousand more than enough. I will get. <clears throat> I will get a dress. I'll get a handful of matsutakes. I do not need more than one stack. The rest of them need to be brooches. Hundred and two brooches. <laughs> Remember, each one of them is worth twenty one hundred sixty gold. <laughs> Dumping an empty duffel bag on the desk. Load me up, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. 220k. Sure, what the fuck? Why not? Woohoo! Yay, let's do the money dance. Oh, what? Look at the pattern on the mythic. That's, what is that? <laughs> It's absurd. Holy. You charge it up in one of those firefighting planes just flies over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> they accidentally dump a whale on your yard. <laughs> it's better than what I was than what I was thinking in a I, I forget the name of the last Harvest Moon game before they transferred over to Story of Seasons. But in that one, when you fully upgraded your watering can, you just made a storm cloud over your crops. <laughs> I like stuff like that. Yeah, just by the end, it's get ridiculous. It's kind of like the, the post-game nonsense weapons in, like, Peace Walker and stuff. Yeah. Ultimate co-op weapon, mythic watering can. That's right. You fault in a bunch of soldiers, and they wet themselves in terror. Look at pork. Well, a new fruit flavored baby. Mmm, mango milk. We got our mango baby. Here you go, mango baby, with your little mango horns and your little mango booty. Does mango go with pork? Uh, eh, yeah, it can. You know, citrus and pork is a classic combination, right? Ham and pineapple. Do like a mango chutney kind of thing with pork. Kind of a sweet, sweet and salty. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I was about to oh, do my ultimate attack. <laughs> we call that attack storage and speed running. <laughs> Screw us, Zach has better comedic timing than any of us. <laughs> and there we go. I didn't buy any more sheep or alpacas because I just want to breed those. It's really the best option. When I upgrade the coop, I'm going to be exclusively breeding the chickens and the rabbits from there. Yeah, there's no point. I mean, all you yeah. got to do is just put a rabbit egg in the incubator and you're up <laughs> to the races. 
Yeah. The ball of fluff that you cut off them. Yeah. That's how rabbits breed, right? Yeah. That's how rabbits breed. You don't need to tell me in the comments. It's fine. It's like how they make avocado trees. Yeah. They cut off some of the fluff and then they stick it on another rabbit. There you go. That's exactly it. Yeah, just just kind of buds. You bury a rabbit egg. I think you're going to say you bury a rabbit. Yeah, you bury a rabbit. Avocado tree. That's where <laughs> avocados come from. That raises some horrible questions about what avocado pits are made of. Ah, now that's interesting because if you bury an avocado pit, you get a strawberry cow. I'm learning so much. Hmm. And that's that's information you can take to the bank.